Why are magpies attracted to shiny objects? The myth that magpies love shiny objects has existed in European folklore for hundreds of years, but the legend was truly cemented by a French play from 1815 called La Pivoleuse, or The Thieving Magpie. In the play, a servant is accused of stealing her master's precious possessions and is sentenced to death for the crime. But moments before her execution, the discovery is made that her master's very own magpie had been stealing the shiny items all along, clearing her name and saving her life. The truth, according to a 2014 study from the University of Exeter, is quite the opposite, however. In the study, researchers placed mealworms on a tray next to two piles of objects, one pile painted blue and the other left in its original shiny state. The test sought to see whether the birds would prioritize interacting with the objects, ignore the objects and just feed, or be deterred from feeding by the objects. And, to reduce biases related to upbringing, they used both wild and lab-rid magpies. Yet, theoretically, if there were an inborn attraction to shininess, both magpie types would favor interacting with the shiny objects, regardless of their background. What the researchers actually found was that the magpies showed no preference for the objects, shiny or otherwise, and worse still, that shiny objects provoked feelings of neophobia. In other words, the novelty of these shiny objects put them off feeding, both as frequently and as rapidly as individuals presented with food and no objects. Despite the study's findings, the myth still grows and is likely still believed today due to people filming and posting unusual moments of magpies picking up glistening objects, making it seem as though magpies actively collect them. Despite this anecdotal evidence, and a history of folklore suggesting magpies like shiny objects, science, for now, demonstrates the contrary.